AFL is the, the number one sport in, that, in South Australia, so it was just naturally for me to go and play that game, certainly with uncles and uh, cousins playing the game. Absolutely loved it, so it was just a matter of time before I started to, to play and join my local club. Uh, I first started out at Elizabeth Junior Football Club. I think just as you get older, uh, you know, there wasn't no odds kick around at that stage, and you just kicked in the street or in the front yard with your with your brothers and your cousins, and it was just uh, a natural progression, I suppose, that you went and joined a footy club. Uh, your, your friends, your, your friends played. Uh, everybody you knew played, so you just you joined a club. That was what you did. Just running out and getting a kick. It was it was great going to school with the with uh, obviously all your friends and then. Meet him on the weekend to play uh, play on Sunday Sunday afternoon Sunday mornings. It was just uh, for me that was what uh, the whole week revolved around was that weekend of playing sport. It certainly got a lot more confidence around people. Obviously mixing with the, within a team environment, talking to the coaches, uh, going to training, asking people for lifts to training. It was uh, had it all. So that sort of got me out of my shell a little bit. I oh, look, I've done a. A hell of a lot of football clinics, community visits over my time in Sydney, uh, and it's, the message is always the same: it's about going out, having some fun, and keeping fit and healthy. Sport is a great way to to, to get involved with your community. You meet people that you've never met before, uh, and, and all of a sudden you're in a team environment with them, and you're relying on that person to help you win a game of football, basketball, netball, whatever it may be. Uh, it's uh, and that's what we do as Australians. Uh, look, the, the, my family still get involved with the club that I grew up with. Uh, Mum's down there every second day and uh, Nan lives around the corner. All of my cousins, junior cousins, play football there still. And when I get the opportunity to go back to Adelaide, I, I visit Salisbury North Football Club and, and say good day to everybody down there and, and try to catch a few games. When we talk to kids uh, in the communities, it's not just about playing AFL footy because the, the reality is that not everybody can play at that level. So there are other options. You can be a physio, you can be a coach, you can be an umpire. You can get involved with your local, with your local side and be involved in that team uh, environment. So there's no, there really is no excuse anymore because uh, clubs are always looking for people to help out. Without the volunteers, clubs wouldn't survive. That's right from juniors all the way up to the AFL level. They wouldn't survive because it's an enormous amount of work getting a footy team on the park. Uh, you've got to cart kids around. So you need mums and dads picking, picking uh, young men up to, to drive them to the ground. You need someone to, to, to get the footies beyond the goals and the boys are kicking them over the fence. Uh, someone to cut the oranges at half time. So uh, it, it starts at junior level and it doesn't finish. Uh, I can tell you that much um, playing AFL. Uh, without the support of uh, a certain few, uh, we wouldn't get on the park. It's really important for myself to go back and see these guys to say thank you. Um, as I mentioned before, they're the ones that really instilled all those uh, those values in you when you're a junior. And you know, it's, without them, it's very, very difficult to make it. Um, everybody needs a, a helping hand every now and then. So certainly, all the coaches and the, the team managers and uh, the, the staff that run the actual clubs, they do a tremendous amount of work trying to promote uh, um, junior activity and getting everybody involved within the community.